So the first modulator uh, we want to look at is the four stage. Looks like this. It's an ADSR, it's an envelope. Inside the uh, polysynth, we have already two envelopes here, FEG and AEG, we can utilize to modulate something. We can just click on here on the board itself or on the symbol, the icon. But if you need actually three envelopes, then you can utilize here a four stage or some different modulator you want to use. And we have here with the four stage, four stages. So actually we have the attack phase here from zero to one, one to two is decay phase. We have the hold phase from two to three and three to four is basically the release phase. And you can see this also here showing up uh, down below as numbers. So you can see the amount or the, the strength basically and the timing, which is down below here. And the timing setting is a bit special because you can switch between seconds. So you can change here um, the point or the, the timing in seconds means um, yeah it's completely free from the rhythm or from the uh, tempo you are choosing in Bitwig Studio or you can switch it to a quarter note so everything you move on here is snapping to the beat grid in quarter notes so it makes it pretty easy to um, yeah make it rhythmically correct in a way um, then you have here these dots in between where you can change the curve or the bending between the, the dots which is also nice to have. And we have uh, a feature to make it bipolar. So when we modulate here, for instance, the cutoff, you can see we only modulate here in the positive direction. It only modulates upwards. And if you switch here to bipolar mode, you can also go into a negative range. And now we go also below here the modulation point right so you can see it goes into the minus range so pretty helpful then we have this poly knob here which is also a bit special which means uh, this curve is applied to every voice so in this instance here we have just one note playing at this at the time but when we play for instance some chords we can now apply this curve or this ADSR envelope to every note separately. So when we start to see at different points in time, also these um, envelopes basically start with the with each note at this at the time, or one modulator is added to one note at a time. For each voice, you have one modulator. This basically means this poly thing here. If you turn this off, then only one stage or one uh, four stage is applied to all of these three notes together. It's just one curve applied to all three notes. So this is pretty important to know. And then we have here a looping function, which, which is also nice. So when you switch this here one to one, you basically only loop the attack phase. So from zero to one. If you switch to your monophonic mode, then you can also loop here from two to two, which is the attack and decay phase, or three, which includes here the hold phase. And also we can loop the whole uh, four stage sequence here. And you can see also here in this graph that we have now three dots, which means you, you visualize or you have a visual for each different voice that's currently playing. So we have three dots because we have three notes or three voices. So there's one slider left, this is this one here, and this is basically just an amount. So you can change the amount, how much you modulate here this uh, cutoff knob. You can ch uh, change this here by doing this on the cutoff knob itself, as you can see here. But if you don't want to actually click this modulator handle and then change it here, you can just utilize this one here. Or you can reverse it. 
We applied basically the modulation in the opposite way. It's also handy when you utilize multiple uh, modulators, for instance, you use an LFO here, and you want to modulate the amount of this uh, four stage. So you go here to maybe 0% and then you add LFO to that one. You can see we change now the modulation amount here with the LFO and then the ADSR is modulating the cutoff. <laughs> Thank you.